Good day to everyone. Let's begin our next lecture. Today, we are going to talk about how to assess communication system and food and accommodation infrastructure of tourism area. So let's begin our next lecture. When we speak about evaluating of communication system of tourism area, we should take first to take into consideration internet access. Free internet zone is highly appreciated by the guests. If there is no internet, so a lot of people will evaluate them negatively. They need Wi-Fi zone everywhere. They work on the buses. They work in the plane. And internet is required everywhere. And the communication system concerning to Wi-Fi or internet zone is appreciated highly by the guests of the country. A lot of tour companies just uh, offer in the tour packages different kind of free Wi-Fi just uh, zones or free Wi-Fi and the free access to internet. Another type of communication system is television and broadcasting, radio broadcasting. A variety of TV channels are highly appreciated by the guests because they speak in different languages and they watch different channels and they prefer to watch the channel that speaks in their language. PC availability in each hotel and each room is preferable, is appreciated by the guests. Rooms should be equipped with the phones and the uh, TVs and uh, because uh, as you know without the phones, without the TV we cannot imagine our life. That was a communication system assessment and let's move to the assessing of catering system, food infrastructure of tourism area. As we speak about the public catering system, we can define the following such as restaurants, canteens, cafes, bars and other types of the food industry. While assessing the territory, they take into consideration the total number of food outlets and number of the seats. Uniformity of food distribution over the territory of the region is very important. They take into consideration the food distribution, that means food supply. And availability of food outlets near the tourist center is very important. They can be available everywhere near the railway stations, in the aviation system, and, the, and even in the cruise liners because you know food should be easily accessed by the guests. If the food is available near the river or seaports, here we don't want just to show a picture but ask a question in this point of our lecture. Have you ever seen the food near the um, port area? Look at the picture. You can see the variety of fairs organized by the uh, tourism industry just in order to attract the guests' attention. When we speak about the uh, food in the cruise, we can say the following. You can meet the food in the cruise liners, celebrity cruises. On the screen you can see the liner, cruise liner that uh, is equipped with the restaurants. But the country that are locked down from the world sea, just uh, you cannot meet this kind of uh, scenery. You can meet simple, just uh, tables with uh, desserts on them and they verify from each other. So, restaurant in cruise liner as well as a res just a restaurant in a boat. There is a big difference between, just between them. Availability of food outlets in rural areas is very important because a lot of guests prefer to see the village areas and they are interested in village food and village shops. Availability of food outlets in the railways. So, now you can see two pictures. And try to compare so the first one here is the second one I say you can see the difference between two pictures the food types the atmosphere as well as the servings and servants you can see just the 
very fine pictures and you can understand and you can assess which one is with a high quality. When we speak about technical equipment of food points, they are also highly assessed by the specialists. They should be uh, just uh, well equipped. You can compare these two pictures and analyze in your mind which one is better equipped. When we speak about technical equipment, we can just also take into consideration the whole city hall. City residence, it should be equipped with a high technology, with a Wi-Fi or just with TVs and, uh, and other things that can attract the guests' attention. You can compare two pictures, which one is better equipped? I mean technical equipment. Now let's move to the next one, level of service offered. When we speak about the service level, we can see the variety of them. Looking at, this, uh, at these pictures, we can analyze which service is better and which service requires just a high price and high cost. Can you re recognize the person? Do you remember him? You are right. He is a famous cook. Especially that person attract a lot of people's attention. They attract people to their restaurants. Owners hire the professionals. Here, I would ask a question. Which pop star would you choose for your restaurant? Think very carefully. Let's move to the next picture. Variety of food. Variety of national food that you can see on the screen. Japanese, Chinese food, just Turkish food. But Italian pizza and other international foods or national foods attract the people's attention. And these outlets are highly assessed. You can see on the picture Uzbek national food that attract a lot of people's attention. That's very interesting for them who has never eaten this food. The next point of our lecture is assessing of accommodation. So let's begin the next part of our lecture. When we speak about assessing of accommodation, we can say much. Hotel service assessment and just accommodation assessment. So, in order to speak about the assessing, first of all, we have to learn the variety of accommodations such as hotels, private guest houses, inns, village inns, uh, campgrounds, campings, shelters, and other places. Accommodation is used to refer to buildings or rooms where people live or stay. When we speak about the history, people moved from one place to another on the uh, just the religious purpose or on festival purpose. At that time, inns were built and the rich people built their houses in a far distance. They built their second houses in order to move from one place to another. When we speak about accommodation types, we can say much. There are, there are a variety of accommodation types such as hotels, motels, just uh, resorts, uh, just uh, all suite hotels or lodges and other things. You can see on that screen one star hotel, two, three or four star hotels or hostels, apartments, villa, guest houses, camping in Bangalore and others. There are different types of accommodation The different sources give us different just the, the classification of hotels. They can be class L luxury hotels and class first class hotels. Class L hotels especially uh, have got the higher quality and they are expensive. When we speak about size of them, they can be small, medium and large size. When we speak about the ownership, they can be private, local group and international group hotels. There are a variety of classification of hotels. If you search, you can find variety of classification of hotel assessment. You can just uh, assess them according to their star. You can assess them according to their size, according to their star system, according to their location and ownership. On the next screen, you can see the second classification. They classify them into star rating and heritage hotels. On the next slide, you can see the size of the rooms should be. And the main aim of the hotels 
and the level of the service and ownership classification, especially classification of, ho- of hotels on the basis of star system. Just uh, is a common way of assessing the hotels nowadays. Even the uh, boutique hotels exist, even they are small, but they are very expensively equipped hotels. After the World War II, national tourist boards began to consider some form of hotel registration classification system. And on the screen you can see the 10 quality levels, from super deluxe up to the moderate tourist class. So when we speak about the quality of guest accommodation and extent of hotel facilities, we can say much. The quality of the room as well as and the area of the hotel is taken into consideration while being assessed. When we speak about AAA system, it can be American assessing system. When we say two A's, that is British assessing system of hotels. On the screen you can see European and American classification of hotels. As we know, one star hotel is the simplest one. One star hotel usually consists of um, a limited range of facilities and the meals may be fairly simple. Lunch for example may be not served and there may not have bathroom for a person. When we speak about two star hotels, it is of course better than one star hotel and of course it is more expensive and it is equipped with more exp- expensive facilities than the one star level. When we speak about the three star hotels, you can see on the screen, just they become better than the previous one. Three star hotels offer you all bedrooms just with a fully equipped and best in shower rooms and they have got a higher stuffing level and a greater quality. When we speak about four star hotel, you can see the difference. So in the hotel with the previous one, it is better equipped. The quality of furnishing, decor and equipment is every area of the hotel is just can be with a higher degree of luxury. When we speak about five star hotels, we can't say much. Looking at the picture, you should guess and you can guess the difference with the four previous ones. And you can see luxurious accommodation throughout the hotel matching the best international standards. So more luxurious the hotel, the greater the variety of jobs that it offer and the service is uh, we can say the high quality. They are equipped with the pools, fitness facilities, activity centers available for the guests seeking recreation. Even they offer valets, that means the servant. And the hotels should be located in the center where they can easily get to the monument, city center, uh, to the nature and so on. When we speak about the motels, especially this accommodation that provide parking facilities for the cars. When we speak about commercial hotels, they uh, just offer a place for traveling on business. They offer the place for the businessmen. When we speak about the resort hotels, they may offer mountain scenery, the combination of sun and the sea, for health spots. Especially, the next type of them can be Congress hotels, hotels with a meeting and exhibition facilities, audiovisual equipment and banquet rooms. The next category of hotels is the resident hotel, where people who don't want or just wish to keep a house, they rent accommodation. B&B, do you know this word? Bed and breakfast. When we speak about bed and breakfast type of the hotel, it can be met in the villages of Britain and you can find B&B in towns and villages in Britain. It says they are private houses. They offer their private house to the guests and you can meet them everywhere. In Bangalore, normally offer cooking facilities and the modest way of room. On the screen, you can see the variety of rooms like a single room, double room, 
Zwin room, studio room and the hall. The budget verifies according to the type of hotel from 25 US dollars up to just uh, 525 and plus and above. Hotels can be long stay and short stay. They can be operating all the year round or working in season. They may work only in winter or summer. They may provide full board or breakfast only. Or even they will not provide food at all. If restaurants do not exist, they do not offer food at all. When we speak about the number of stories, we can say much. They can be built from one or two stories up to 40 floors and more. On the screen you can see two pictures, two different pictures with different story building. So when we speak about the floors, they can be low rise, mid rise, high number of rise and so on. On the screen you can see one of the highest hotels of the world. It is located in the United Nations. It is just higher than 365 meters. By the way, the service can be verified, served by the waiter, self-service and the mixed service. And on the screen you can see the variety of uh, evaluating system of hotels. You can evaluate them according to their food, location, atmosphere and their rooms. That's it for today. That was all what we really wanted to say about the assessing of food and hotel. Thank you very much.